Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on web application with Oracle Apex. In the previous episode, we have successfully created our first table in our Oracle database. And in this episode, we will uh, learn to uh, add auto increment in our table. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So first of all, log into your Oracle uh, account and come to this dashboard. And then let's go to SQL Workshop and we will write a query for our sequence and triggers uh, so that we can add auto increment function and then go to SQL scripts and we will create a new script. So just click on create and here script name will be tbl underscore category sequence and triggers you can give any name so this is a descriptive name so i gave its name tbl category sequence and triggers and here we will write the code to create our sequence and triggers so before creating sequence and triggers let's uh, discuss uh, something about sequence and triggers in oracle so I will call uh, sequence as a built-in uh, function in Oracle database that helps to generate uh, unique integers and it can be used uh, in uh, primary key column since uh, the integer generated is unique. Similarly, uh, trigger is another type of function. I would like to call it a magical function uh, because uh, they are uh, executed automatically and these trigger functions are executed uh, with uh, three statements that are insert update and delete so we can create a custom triggers to do uh, varieties of functions or we can create custom functions and use those functions with triggers uh, and triggers can be used before or after insert update and delete so for further studies, I will put uh, the link to know more about sequence and triggers in the description below. So let's create a sequence and triggers for auto increment in our TBL category. So to create a sequence, the syntax or query is create sequence and sequence name. Sequence name will be sequence underscore. Let's give a a primary key column name which is category underscore id so this is the name of the sequence sequence category id so this is this will be our sequence create sequence sequence name and we want the sequence to start with start with one and increase by one so increment by one and no cache no cycle no cache and uh, no cycle and then semicolon so no cache is to specify that the value of the sequence is not pre-allocated and no cycle is to indicate that uh, it cannot generate a new sequence after reaching its maximum level so that's it this will create a sequence for our TBL category and let's create a trigger so the query to create a trigger is create trigger create or replace trigger and we will give the trigger name so let's start with trg short form of trigger and tbl underscore category and we want to use it uh, before inserting the data inside our TBL category table so it will be before insert and then we need to give the table name on TBL underscore category it's not CT category and then for each row and we need to begin and the code to generate primary key automatically and insert it inside our primary key it will be colon and then a new dot 
category ID we need new category ID and column is equals to we are generating a uh, unique integers uh, with our sequence so it will be sequence copy the sequence name and paste it here and the dot next well that's it and add the it in that's it so this is the query or this is the syntax to create a simple trigger so here we have created a trigger uh, to insert a new sequence or new auto increment uh, value in our primary key which is category id uh, similarly you can use trigger for doing a lot of things uh, if you know how to create uh, functions or if you know uh, plsql or if you know how, uh, how to create procedures packages and functions then a trigger has a lot of other functions but for now we are using a uh, trigger to uh, insert uh, primary key data in our tbl category so the syntax is create or replace trigger and trigger name and when we want to uh, execute the function before inserting data on tbl category and for every row begin and here we what we need is new category id new category id and where do we get new category id from from our sequence and we want to generate next value like if, if, if we have a one as a category id and then it will generate one, uh, two because we have next value so this is the query so these uh, two things that are sequence and trigger uh, will help us to add auto increment function in our tbl category inside oracle database so let's save it by clicking on create and then we can run it so our tbl category sequence and triggers we have created uh, the sql script now let's run it by clicking on this play button and let's check it let's click on run and successful two statement process two successful error zero so we have uh, create sequence sequence created and created trigger so that's it this is uh, how we created auto increment for our tbl category so let's go to sql script and let's uh, try to insert uh, one data and let's see if uh, that auto increment uh, worked or not so for that uh, i do not want to use uh, SQL script or I don't want to uh, save that uh, SQL query instead I will go to SQL command it is uh, and it is faster more faster than SQL script as well because we don't need to save SQL query so I'll just go to SQL command so just click and drop down from SQL workshop and click on SQL command and then let's write uh, SQL query to insert data in our table category if you have followed uh, my big, uh, database for beginners tutorial series then you already know the query to insert data in database anyway let's write the query so insert into tbl underscore category and uh, let's give the column name column name is we don't need this code column name is category underscore title and values we need to give value value will be food food let's give semicolon at the end and let's select it and run it so one row is inserted so we have successfully inserted uh, data in our category category table which is tbl category and again let's uh, see the value that we inserted and let's check whether our auto increment function worked or not so i'll just use select asterisk from tbl underscore category so i'll just select the query at the semicolon at the end select the query and run it and here we have our value i accidentally run a query twice two times this query two times so uh, we have food food two times but auto increment is working successfully the first id is one and second is two so this is it guys we have successfully added auto increment function in our tvl category in oracle database 
so thank you so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i will reply as soon as possible and in the next uh, tutorial we will create another table for our product uh, and we will also add auto increment and sequence using sequence and trigger so i will see you on next tutorial till then stay safe take care bye bye